Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech, and in this video, I'm going to show you a few things you can do to boost your system performance on Windows 10. Now, before we get started, there's good news and some bad news. So first, let's get the bad news over with. If you're running Windows 10 on a very, very old computer, you can't really expect your system to run like a newer and more powerful device only by making certain software tweaks. Very often on YouTube you'll see videos that tell you how certain software related tricks will make your computer fly. Honestly, the only way you can do that is by getting the latest and greatest hardware components. But the good news is that no matter how slow your system may be, there are things you can do to increase its performance and therefore have a better everyday user experience. So without further ado, here's a few tips that will boost your system performance on Windows 10. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to free up space on your hard drive because hard drives that are low on space are actually one of the most common reasons for slow system performance on Windows 10 or any other operating system for that matter. So first off, you might want to get rid of any apps, games, or any other programs you may not use that frequently or you don't use them at all. So to do this, you want to click on your start menu and click on the settings button. Once this opens up, you want to click on system. Then on the left hand side, you want to click on apps and features. Now right here, you'll see a list of programs and games that you have installed on your computer. So what you want to do is go through them and uninstall the ones that you don't use that frequently or like we said, the ones that you don't use at all. So once you find the particular thing that you want to uninstall, simply click on it then click on uninstall, then it's going to give you this little message right here, but you want to click uninstall again, and that should get rid of the particular app or game from your computer. Once you're finished removing apps and games that you don't frequently use, you're going to want to delete any sort of junk files that get stored on your computer without you even knowing it. So from my experience, the best way to do this is using a free program called CCleaner. To download it, you're going to open up the link that will be provided in the description and you're going to scroll down and download the free version. We're going to download it from the second link that's provided on this website. So we're going to click on that. The download should start automatically. Remember where you stored it. If you're using Google Chrome like I am, then you can run it from the download bar on the bottom of the screen. So we're going to do that. In order to install it, just follow what you see on screen. So once you install and run CCleaner for the first time, you're going to go to the cleaner section. Right here it has a list of different stuff that it will get rid of. I'm going to just leave everything as it is and first off, you want to click on Analyze. Now this might take a while depending on how much stuff you have on your computer, but after it's done analyzing, it's going to give you a list of all the junk files you have on your system. And in my case, as you can see, it says that cleaning can save up 6.11 gigabytes of disk space. So that's a lot. In order to get rid of that, you simply want to click on Run Cleaner. Then it's going to say, this process will permanently delete files from your system. Are you sure you wish to proceed? You're going to click on OK. Now, if you need to close any apps and programs in order for the program to proceed, you're going to have to do that. In this case, it's telling me that Edge needs to be closed, so I'm going to click Yes. After that, you simply need to give it a while to delete all the junk files. Again, how long this will take will depend on how much junk you actually have on your system. Once it reaches 100%, you can close the program and you're done. So the next thing we're going to do is check our hard drive for any errors. So to do that, you want to click on Start, then right click on the File Explorer icon and click on This PC. Then you want to right click on Local Disk C and go to Properties. When this dialog box pops up, you want to click on the Tools tab and right here where it says Error Checking, you want to click on Check. 
Now, if you get this message, then you're probably good. As you can see, it says you don't need to scan this drive. We haven't found any errors on this drive, but you can still scan the drive for errors if you want. If you don't get this message, simply click on scan drive and that should initiate the whole process. After it's done analyzing, it should fix the errors or it may possibly ask you to restart your computer. But since my system already told me that I don't have any errors, I'm going to cancel the process. If you have a different case and if Windows detects certain error, then simply follow the simple steps that the system presents you with. The next thing we're going to do is optimize our hard drive. So to do that, again, you want to click on start, right click on file explorer, and then click on this PC. Again, right click on local disk C, go to properties, go back to the tools tab, and this time we're going to click on the optimize button. So once this box pops up, you're going to see a list of different drives that Windows is scanning. So by default in Windows 10, all your drives are monitored on a regular basis. So as you can see right here next to C drive, the system tells me that it's okay because it's only 3% fragmented. If you want to analyze it at the moment, then you simply select it and hit analyze. Now, as you can see, it tells me that it actually needs optimization because after this analyzing process, now it tells me that it's 14% fragmented. So to defragment it, I'm simply going to select that drive and click on optimize. So this is a process that may take some time, but after it's complete, the drive you selected should be optimized and you should repeat the process for any drive on your system. Now, like I mentioned earlier, by default, Windows 10 will monitor and optimize your drives in the background on a regular basis. As you'll be able to see once you actually initiate the optimization process, your computer will run much slower while it's happening. So if you don't want Windows to actually do this in the background, at certain moments when you might be doing something else and need your computer to perform as fast as possible, you can turn off automatic optimization in the background by doing the following. So you want to click on change settings and simply uncheck the box next to run on a schedule. Then simply hit OK and exit out of this. The next thing we're going to do should boost your startup time. So to do this, you want to right click on your taskbar and open up the task manager. Then you want to click on the startup tab and right here, you're going to see a list of apps and programs that may or may not run at startup. So what you want to do is go through these. And if you don't want a particular program to run on startup, simply select it, right click and say disable. So obviously, the less programs you have running on startup, the faster your startup will be. So go through this list and see which programs you don't want to start up and simply disable them. So the next thing we're going to do in order to boost performance in Windows 10 is adjust the appearance settings for best performance. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on your start menu, right click on file explorer, and then right click on this PC and go to properties. Then you're going to click on advanced system settings. Now when this box pops up, the advanced tab should be already selected. So you want to click on settings in the performance section. Now right here, you want to select the adjust for best performance option and then click on apply. Now this is actually going to get rid of all sorts of graphical effects that Windows 10 may have. For example, if you click on this dialog box and drag it around, as you can see, you just get a border where that particular window would have been. And this is just one example. If you select the adjust for best performance option, you're going to lose a lot of fancy effects. So if you decide that you actually want to keep some, then you can click on custom and go through this list right here and put a check in the box next to the particular effect that you want to keep. If you feel that your system can handle a better appearance, then probably the best option to go with is this one right here that says, let Windows choose what's best for my computer. But again, if you want best performance, then go with this one. 
Now the next thing we're going to do is something that will help you a bit if you play a lot of games on your system. So Windows 10 has its own inbuilt screen recorder called Game DVR, which isn't a standalone app, but a feature that comes with the Xbox app. And what it does is it actually runs in the background, especially when you're playing games, and that could actually lower your frame rate and cause certain performance issues. So if you don't use the game DVR screen recorder, you can actually turn it off in order to get some better performance. So to do that, you want to open up the Xbox app and we're going to open it up by searching for it. Now, if this is the first time that you're actually opening this app, you're going to need to sign in with your Xbox account or the account that you use to sign in to Windows 10. Once you're signed in, you want to go to the lower left hand side and click on settings. Then up here you want to click on game DVR and right beneath that you should see the option that says record game clips and screenshots using game DVR. If you don't want to use it, turn it off right here. Now game DVR won't be constantly running in the background and you should see at least a small increase in your system performance while you're playing games. The last thing we're going to do for this video is optimize the power options for best performance. So to do that, you want to click on start and then go to all settings. Then you want to click on system. On the left hand side, you want to click on power and sleep. Then on the bottom of the page, you're going to click on the blue link that says additional power settings. That should open up the power options section in the old control panel. So right here you want to click on this little arrow to see additional plans and you want to select the high performance option. Now have in mind that this option like it says right here favors performance so you should see a boost on that plan but it may actually cause your device to use up more energy so that's something you might want to have in mind especially if you're using a laptop or any other type of portable devices. So that would be all for this video. If you have any questions regarding anything shown in the video, feel free to post them in the comment section below. If you found the video helpful, please leave a like and share it with anyone you think might find it useful. For more content in the future, just hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. As always, stay strong.